hello hello beautiful people welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to make a moisturizing lightning body and face lotion this lotion is a game changer but first if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so so that you will get notification when i upload new videos and please you have to pay rapt attention as i go on with this video because i have a lot of information i'm going to pass concerning this body lotion so you have to watch to the end yes it's going to be like a long video but you just have to exercise patience and you know that the patient dog is the fattest bone so let's dive into the formulation so i'm going to add my e-wax i'm using my e-wax i will leave the detail of all the ingredients i'm going to use right here as the video goes along it will not be at the description box because i want you to pay rapt attention i want you to get a whole lot of information concerning this lotion because it's a game changer Yes, this lotion is a game changer and it will help you if you are formulating to sell or you are making for personal use. And also, if you know you've not upgraded your skincare class, please, this is the best time for you to enroll because I'm going to teach you clinical based skincare, not just your regular organic skincare, but clinical based skincare with effective high performance skincare raw materials this particular lotion will fall in the ph range of 6 to 6.5 or 6.7 because of the skincare raw materials we are going to use now i've added both my e-wax and steric acid i'm going to add my cocoon butter <clears throat> cocoon butter is another great skincare butter that most of us don't know it has a zero non is a non-comedogenic butter it has a zero rating that is the reason why i'm using it this cocoon butter tips it helps to take care of your skin, moisturizes your skin very well, remove blemishes and acts as an antioxidant. Yes, it's a very great skincare butter that you use in both your body and um, face skincare in um products. So right now I'm going to add in my butter i'm using shea butter shea butter we all know is another great antioxidant is another great moisturizer and you equally know that shea butter has a comedogenic rating of zero most people don't know that it means that it will not clog your pores <laughs> yes a lot of us don't know that it won't clog your pores so this lotion is very very great for those with oily skin yes yeah, so great for those with oily skin and in between is neither oily is neither dry it's just normal skin this lotion is good for them in here then i'm going to add my oil you know this is the oil phase of the production so i'm going to use my rose hip oil my rose hip oil rose hip oil is an anti-aging tool and anti-inflammatory it helps to even out the skin tone when mixed with this cocoon butter and shea butter it is so great in removing blemishes yes then here I'm using lightning butters and lightning powders here. The first lightning powder 
I'm going to use is my sepia white powder. Yes, I'm adding it to my oil face production because like I said, a lot of people don't know about this particular stage. They, they had to mix oils, their powder separately. But it is so good and wise to add your oil, your oil soluble powders during you, the oil phase. You mix it all with the oil phase so that it will mix thoroughly and work effectively. Yes, we know that CP White has a pH range of 5 to 7. Then another powder I'm going to add is my Kojic Deep. Kojic Deep is, we know, is a wide range powder. It's an effective, in fact, is a whitening powder that is highly, highly effective. It has a pH range of 4 to 9. So it is well accommodating with any other um, lightning powders and it is oil soluble. It is different from kojic acid. It is different from kojic acid because it is more stable than kojic acid. We all know that kojic acid is not stable when it comes to pro, uh, production in your lotion formulation. So it, the best bet for you to use is you use your um, Kojic Deep. So right now, I'm going to shift over to my water phase. There, I wanted to add an oil, but it, the oil should will be added when the oil, when I've dissolved the emotion oil and is is a cool down phase that's when i'm going to add it now i'm going to add in mixing my water phase first i'm going with my distilled water we all know that you shouldn't use any other water apart from distilled water or hydro salts please your distilled water or hydro salt don't formulate with any other water tap water bottle water is not acceptable so i'm going in with my distilled water then i will go in with my rose water i'm using the two waters together yes it is okay for you to do so mixing both waters you have your distilled water you divide it then you, you can use your hydro salts you know hydro salts are more potent than water so you can mix both together either you use your tea tree or the rest here i'm adding in my glycerin yes you can see the phase of a, a formulation i'm going into a lot of us don't know about this add your glycerin with your water phase it helps to smoothen out it helps to make your formulation your end product to be really wow then i'm going in with my aloe vera gel what does aloe vera gel does you can use a store but i prefer much of store but use your aloe vera gel aloe vera hair to suit the skin so if someone that have skin irritation or maybe any of the raw materials want to cause irritation this uh, aloe vera gel will help to suit the skin it protects the skin also it has vitamin e and it helps protect the skin from uv rays yes then another ingredient i'm going in is my is what we call edta edta is a, a skincare raw material that helps to chillate what we we'll call chillate it helps to bind ions in your production so that they will not destabilize and it helps more especially to keep the ph of your skincare raw materials balanced a lot of us don't do this because after production 
some of the skincare ingredients that you use might make the ph of your lotion to remain unstable yes so this edta helps to make it stable if at the end of your production for example you got 5.5 or 6 it will remain so but if you don't use edta your skincare products at the end of production might go down or go up so the best is to use your edta like i said it acts as a chelating agent or here it acts as a ph stabilizer then another great skincare raw materials a lot of formulators are leaving behind are the is the alantium powder i'm going in with my alantium powder in the water phase yes alantium powder helps to suit the skin it helps to cause it helps to remove dryness it helps to any skin irritation that will want to come up when you are using a skincare product alantium powder will counteract it so guys this now i'm going to double boil then we'll come back and see how the two uh, two products are i'm going to do a double boil method we all know what double boil method is then we'll come back and make guys we are back with our double boiling we've melted our waxes and with our water so right now I am going to add a very important oil to this uh, um, oil feast and the name of the oil is La Rocopram oil. This is a penetration enhancer. You see the reason why I say you should please watch the video to the end. This will help to, to make sure that all the lightning powders work effectively. It helps to take in the actives onto the skin it helps to penetrate very well this is a very great oil most formulators don't know now i've mixed my water into my oil face and i'm going to give it a whisk so right now i'm going to go off the camera to make sure that it's emulsified very well that the water and the oils combine properly then We'll be back. Welcome back, guys. So so sorry. I the place where I added one powder, the mulberry powder. I couldn't see it in the video. It, it was misplaced, kind of. I never knew that. I, I didn't record that. Mulberry powder, the extract. I mean to say, mulberry extract is added to this in order to help is a lightning powder to is an anti-aging so right now what i'm doing is i'm going i'm testing the ph of this lotion i'm taking a little mix it with my distilled water and i'm using my test ph test strip to test that if you have your ph meter <clears throat> go ahead and use it i'm okay with my ph test strip <clears throat> excuse me i'm okay with it i'm good at it so it, i know <clears throat> it gives me the accurate reading i want even when i test use use my ph meter i know i'm okay with it like i said so this lotion like i said should be able to give me within the range of six to five point five to six point seven and Da, da, da. <laughs> we have that we have that 5.5 do you know the reason why i need it to be at that range 5.5 our la, la rocrepram oil has a ph of four to six that is when it will work effectively then sepia white powder we know the ph rate five to seven that's when it will work effectively more berry powder six to seven point five so it all those powders have the same ph range and this lotion will work perfectly well 
like I said, it's a moisturizing and lightening lotion. So it's going to work so perfectly. The reason why I say you should watch this video to the end. So right now, I'm going to add the remaining actives. That is my, I have my lavender oil and the preservative guys i have to measure i have to test my ph first before i add my preservative the lavender oil will not disrupt the ph so because if i add the preservative it might make the lotion unstable i might not get an accurate reading so i am testing my ph stability before i add my preservative and i'm using my jama plus so guys this lotion like i said is highly effective you can use for personal or you can sell it and if you want to know more about this lotion and how to formulate very well like i said i will leave a link in the description box so that you can contact me and we go right in guys see the lotion <laughs> isn't it beautiful so guys it's like i said if you want to know more about formulation you want to purchase our products i will leave everything in the description box so that you can reach us Bye for now.